Yeah, first thing we need to know is the wattage usage of the uh, furnace. And you can see it just started to 902. And now it's leveling off around 420, 422. So our 800 watt inverter should handle this no problem. Uh, in order to plug in a furnace, we did a video prior to this one. I'll put a link up uh, at the top here. So you can see how we were able to plug in a furnace. Now this is the inverter that we have. It's 800 watts, 8.95 amps. Now this inverter that we have was previously installed in a vehicle and the uh, cables that we have need to be directly attached to the battery terminals. Although if you were to go buy a inverter you can most likely get it with um, little cables that you can just clip onto your battery terminals for a temporary attachment. Now I could plug the uh, furnace into a generator either gas or solar but I just happen to have an inverter. You can pick up a uh, inverter big enough to run a furnace for Oh, about a hundred dollars. You know, as far as like a gas generator goes, they're noisy and expensive. And if you want to go uh, like a solar generator, those are even more expensive. Not as noisy, but you know, to get a solar generator big enough to power a furnace, you're looking at minimum thousand dollars. All right, so we've got our inverter hooked up. It's pulling 125 volts. Well, it's time to plug it in and see what happens. Now we're going to turn the uh, furnace on. We'll flip the switch. And we've got to reset the thermostat. I'm going to bump this up to Oh, temporarily 74 degrees. Then I'll go out in the garage and see how we're looking out there. Alright, so we're back in the garage. Got our wattage meter hooked up to the inverter. Right now we're drawing 71, now 120, 180. Okay, that would be your fan running, and then when the furnace kicks on, it should surge. Okay, there we go. 676. And then back down to the 450s, 460s. There we go. There you go. We're running the furnace with a car. <laughs> You know, some of the cars these days already come pre-installed with inverters and 120 outlets. But those inverters are generally going to be around 300 watts, not quite big enough to run a furnace. So I'll leave a couple of links in the description box on some inverters that will do the trick for you. Take care, be safe, and stay warm.